Hello, this is Malorian and this is the Orc Tactical Team. And what I want to talk about today is kind of a viewer question that came to me and it was just basically, Malorian, I think you've kind of contradicted yourself in a couple of your videos. Could you just go back and just talk about how you should be arming your actual units, your rank and file? And uh, I think to start off with, the golden rule you always have to think of is that 8th is all about kills. If you have any way to make a unit more offensive, that's the way you go. So if you if you can go with your savage orcs, which you want to make big ends so that you can make them be even stronger, give them extra uh, hand weapons so they can be even stronger, that's the way to go. If you're dwarves and you have a chance to give them a great weapon, always give them the great weapon because it increases their killing potential so much and it's better to be killing almost all the time than to not be losing more. So just go offensive all the time, all the time, all the time. Now, where you might have to break away from that golden rule is when you get to these really defensive units. Either ones that just don't really have an offensive uh, option. This would be something like your your goblins where, you know, they can't get extra hand weapons. They can't get great weapons. So they're really just going to be, well, they're shields. And if you do go big enough, sure, why not? Let's give them spears so we can pokey pokey and try and win by attrition. But for the most part, past that as well is if there's something where you know what we're talking about slaves here they're just cheap they're just supposed to die I don't want to be spending any more points on these guys because they're really just here to die and so I'm just gonna throw them into battle naked and so really you're gonna be having your guys which are really there this should be your, your bread and butter all the time set up for kills set up the kills you got your great weapons they're going for kills all the time and then really just these other specialized units which are there just to kind of bog things down and i've seen some lists that go instead of just taking those as support units just taking tons like hey i'm just gonna take everything zombies and they just lose combat after losing combat after losing combat and they just don't go anywhere so really like i said with the golden rule you want your rank and files to be more offensive now Getting past this, and I think the, the one that is really causing the most issues, is when you're talking about Warriors of Chaos. And Warriors of Chaos are a very hard one to get at because of their real, their real nature, where they're so elite. This is if you're going with the actual Warriors. If you're going with Marauders, again, it's, it's just a no-brainer, great weapons, always offensive, go get them. Unless, again, we're trying to go for a defensive unit and we're going to give them shields and a mark of Tazinch. But if you're talking about your actual Warriors of Chaos, you're in an interesting situation where your model is so expensive that you want to protect them, but then you also want to follow the Golden Rule. So you kind of just want to go with a shield, but at the same time, you know, maybe they are offensive enough because they already have two attacks. Are you okay with that? And this is something where from this, you're really going to have to look at your, your meta. You know, probably, let's look at it this way. You could just take your big, huge unit, the Warriors of Chaos, and just give them all great weapons. That is the number one offensive to do thing to do. Give them a uh, mark of corn, throw them into a horde, just go and kill. And you know what? They're going to kick butt. But one of the things with them is that then you're wasting their initiative. So then the big thing you want to do is give them halberds. And once you give them halberds, you're kind of there in the middle. Uh, you know, they're not super offensive, but at least they still have all of their uh, initiative and they'll be going first and all this stuff, which can, in big horde versus horde combats, this can make a big difference later down the road. And I, I think past that, though, I was even saying that you know what, you could might even want to go more defensive because these guys are so uh, expensive. They just want to go shields, market to zinch, and just say, you know what, I'm so killy and I have such a good armor save. I'm going to be winning combat anyway. I just want to preserve these points. And from all these different steps of what you're going to do, it really comes down to what you're going to be up against. So I think this is where it caused some confusion. And so the, the biggest thing, just to kind of reiterate, is the golden rule if you can always make them more killy, do it. If you can hoard them, do it. Second rule, if they're going to be a support role, make sure that they're specifically uh, equipped or not equipped in order to do that role. And then finally, the third one is these really oddball situations like Warriors of Chaos where there's a lot of different options and it really is going to come down to your meta. So I hope that answers your question. And to anybody else, if you have a question, send it my way and I'll try and do my best to throw it in here. Thanks. Bye.